Let's bring up Genesis 11, 6. So Jesus was talking. Amen? Amen. It says, the Lord. Amen. There he is. Finally, my brother. The Lord said. Once again, show it. Jesus is the word. Amen? Amen. Amen? The people is one. I love that language. Behold, the people is one. We would say what? Oh. Yes, the people is one, y'all. Maybe he was southern. Maybe Jesus is southern. And they have all one language, and this they begin to do, which means they began to say all the same thing. Amen? Amen. Talk to me. Amen. And now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Number seven, let us go down. So you know they're talking about God, let us. Yes. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. We see that in Genesis back. <laughs> let us make man in our image and our likeness. Amen. And then remember we learned a long time about Father, Son, and Holy Ghost made us. Amen. 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 Um, confound me of language that they may not understand one another's speech. Amen. So one of the first things that I want you to understand, look at me, the devil has caused us not to communicate. Amen. What they were doing was a sin. Do you agree or disagree? Amen. Okay, it was a sin. But they were going to be successful. Amen. Now, should that be hard for you to accept? Because have you have been in sin and been successful at your sin. Amen. I have been in sin and been successful at my sin. I find that people think because I'm talking to you and I say you have been, uh, they don't think I'm talking about me, but I know me better than anybody. Amen. Amen. Excuse me back. I have good, bad, and ugly. Okay. Amen. I'm working hard on the ugly. I'm trying to kill it. I'm working on the bad. They gonna be there, and I'm gonna have to work till I die. Amen. 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 So when people say, "Well, pastors, this, that, the other," so well, I'll pray for me. Pray for me. I'll be perfect when I get to heaven. Amen. 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 And you're supposed to teach your children. Amen. And it's sad that young women now don't know how to cook. Amen. They don't know how to clean. So button on. Amen. Iron a shirt. Amen. The proper way to iron a man's shirt. I mean, how do you go be a good wife? Well, Pastor, I don't have to do that. Yes, you do. Amen. Yes, you do if you're going to be a, a woman and a wife of God. Amen. Amen. So, this is the beginning of confusion. They all started speaking different and they all started separating. Amen. Going that way. Because they couldn't talk. Mm -hmm. They couldn't communicate with each other. So they went different ways. Amen? Amen. Amen. What are we doing? The same exact thing. Mm -hmm. Amen. We don't communicate well with each other. Amen. And because we don't communicate well, it causes confusion, mm -hmm. division, and separation, Amen. which is all the devil. Amen. Amen. You know, wherever there's confusion, God says, I'm not the author of confusion. Amen. Amen. Now, you have to know about the Tower of Babel that they were building. I find it amazing. Amen. Because they had gone up levels without, I'm sure they had ladders, but they didn't have oxygen or anything, and they were way, way, way up in the air. Um, Nimrod was their leader, or their king. He wasn't even called the king, but he was just like a king. And Nimrod was beautiful, the Bible says. He had long, flowing hair like a woman would have. He, um, he was naturally gorgeous for a man, the Bible says. So I'm sure all the women followed him. And he, he is the one that came out with horoscopes. Isn't it interesting? Horoscopes. And uh, the zodiac signs. And they were carving them on this tower on the inside as they went out. He created Cupid. That's, right. that's why Christians, and he made Cupid the god of love. And that's why as Christians, you should be having little Cupids or little angels with arrows as soon as First of all, angels aren't, y'all know that I've been taught here, <clears throat> angels aren't little babies. Amen. 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 And when, if a baby has to go back to the Lord, it doesn't become an angel. Amen. So, confusion came in. God says, I'm not the author of confusion. But Nimrod led his people into saying, we don't have to serve God. 
Just like people do today. We don't have to come to church. We don't have to get tithes and all. We don't have to do this. We don't have to do that. I watch God on television. I watch teaching on television. Um, I read my Bible. But the Bible says, fail not to assemble yourself as some have and have fallen from the faith. So you're really sinning when you don't attend services. Amen. 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 But they felt, Nimrod said, you don't have to do all that. We don't have to go to temple. We don't have to do nothing. We'll build a tower to heaven. And then all we got to do is walk up. And he was almost pretending like he was a God. Because he was in charge of this thing. But the thing that blesses my life is God, the Lord Jesus Christ. We just read it, right? Amen. The Lord says they're going to be successful. Amen. How? They don't have oxygen tanks or man. You know, I, for years I'm like, how? Would, because when you are in oneness, he says what? You're what? Unstoppable. Unstoppable. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Go back to six for a minute, please. The whole of the people is one. We laughed at that. Is one. They are what? One. They are what? One. Okay. And they have all one language. See, it's so important. See, you can't be on one accord if everybody's not saying the same thing. Amen. Now, I will agree with you, you will never on earth get a hundred percent participation. Amen. And I am sure Nimrod did not have a hundred percent participation. Because everyone is born in sin. And shaped in me. But the people that Nimrod had pulled together, they were one. Amen. See, everybody, I'm trying to teach you something. Everybody that's a member of this church is not going to be a oneness. Amen. But from our church business meeting at night, we found this group of us that are determined now. Amen. Right? Amen? Amen. We're going to be on one accord. Amen. God's going to solidify that group. Amen. Okay? He's not going to look at the 80%. Well, I ain't got to do that. Da, 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 da. What will motivate them will be when you are ble your blessings start manifesting. Amen. Higher level blessings. Then they're going to want to know. Amen. Well, what do you do? They might pull you to the side because, you know, they're not going to say them out loud. They're not going to get up and testify. I didn't go along in the beginning of the, at the end of the year, and I haven't been in one that's with y'all. What are y'all doing? Uh -huh. You know, and I'm going to jam that puss. I said, this kind of, what's going on with you? Everything going on? What you doing? I got in oneness. Yeah. Now, oneness is a fight because your mind going to want to do what it want to do when it want to do it. Like it want to do it. The mind will never get saved. Amen. Never. This is flesh. It's never going to say, oh, I love the Lord. Your spirit man is going to tell your mind, we love the Lord. Amen. And you're going to shut up. Amen. Okay? You got to tell your mind, shut up. Amen. Quick. Because it's like a weed after a while. You be going, yeah, this yeah. yeah, Latoya don't like me. Yeah, I knew she. That's why she made their faces like that when I called. Because she know. And I'm telling you, as false as that is, uh -huh. the devil will have you in your mind believing it. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Totally. And it's a total lie. He'll take 1%. Latoya looked at me. And when he finished rapping, Latoya looked at me. Latoya hates you. Amen. Latoya wasn't even thinking about you, but she was thinking, I'm still hungry when I go home. I'm going to make me a sandwich. <laughs> See how the devil lies? Amen. It all started here. Amen. How many times in the church do we have confusion over communication? How many people know? Because I do. One, two, three, four, five people, okay. Everybody in the church should have had their hand up. Amen. Okay? Because we judge things based on our mind yes. and our mind has been corrupted Amen. and our language has been corrupted Amen. and that's what we need to do in 2014 Amen. you need to overdo what is playing in your mind Amen. with the word of god so much so that what was on your mind is gone and instead of thinking that you think the word of god Amen. Amen. because otherwise 
you're going to have confusion in your mind, in your language, with God and with you. It's going to be a constant fight, 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 fight. Yeah, I know what the words say, but. And I know I'm supposed to do this, that, and the other. But you want to get rid of the goat spirit before 14 comes in. Okay, that's a warning. That's a prophetic warning. I'm telling you, you need to get rid of it. Amen. When a negative thought comes to your mind, when a negative thought comes to my mind, my hand of God, the word pops up like that. Amen. I go to do something and the word goes, a scripture will go, bam, bam. Now I can still do what I want to do. Uh -huh. Okay, it's not like the word comes up, you will no longer move in this. No, I can do what I want to do. Amen. But that scripture comes up to remind me Amen. what God has said. Amen. Now I have a choice. Amen. Sometimes when you get a negative thought, scripture don't come. Amen. 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 Now the scripture is coming because I come to church with you guys, but I read my word and I make sure I get taught. Because tonight I'm giving out virtue. Amen. If I don't replace this virtue, I'll start getting weaker and weaker and weaker. Which the devil would love, but he's not going to get it. So 2014 is the year that God is going to do some completion in those saints' lives, only the children of God, Amen. lives who are ready. Amen. Okay? We're talking to some police officers today, some good stuff. They dropped by. And he said, we got talking about society and the law and all like that. And he said, you really got to watch who you hang with and what you think. Amen. And I said, why are you preaching? And he got, he's white, kind of got by, embarrassed and red and cheap. But he was, wasn't he, Jay? He said, you got to watch who you are around. Uh -huh. He said, people get in trouble. I lock people up all the time because they was there with them. Amen. Didn't he, but they? Um, you got to watch who you're around, and you got to watch how you think. Amen. Mr. Mosley was here. Was it this week or last week? No. Monday. I'm losing track. And he's the guy we brought the property from, most of y'all veterans, saints, know who he is. And he stopped to talk to the high schoolers. He's never done that before. It was so precious. And he said, you got to think before you act. You can't just act on your first thought. you got to take a moment and think about it. I said, wow, God's trying to teach us something for 14. Now, don't do it condemning. Yes. See, I don't allow that in my life. Amen. You can allow it in yours. But in my life, I found it didn't get me anywhere. Amen. I found that feeling sorry for yourself feels good for a minute. But then it's depressing. Yes. Feeling sorry for yourself, is no profit in it Amen. for my life. So I, I said, I'm not doing it. If someone were to say to me, well, you did so and so and so, I said, yep. Yeah. If I did it, I said, sure, I did it. And well, what are you trying to say to me? Amen. Well, I told you I wasn't perfect to begin with, so what you trying to say? I'm serious. What you trying to tell me? Amen. Well, something I don't already know? What you trying to tell me? If I sin or do wrong, I repent and I'm over it. Amen. I'm, I'm not going to allow my mind to uh -huh. beat me up. Amen. I did it. Amen. You're welcome. I did it. Amen. Amen. And Amen. I was born in sin and shaped in iniquity. I didn't listen to the Holy Ghost and I didn't listen to the scripture that God gave me. I did it. Amen. Jesus paid for my sins. Amen. Jesus paid for your sins. Amen. All you gotta do is repent. But I mean sincerely, I repent. Amen. See, I offset it all the time because I tell people that work close to me all the time, I can't be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but I thought, so I said, but I could be wrong. Amen. You know, I'll say that right away because I'm going to hedge my bet. Amen. Amen. Just in case I'm wrong, I don't want to be looking like I'm a, a sinner. <laughs> See, you're a sinner saved by grace. Amen. Saved. Amen. Because if it wasn't for the grace of God over the children of God, the price you would have to pay, pay is far beyond the price we have to pay. Amen. 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 Thank you. Far beyond. Well, when I said it was done, but it wasn't like it could have been. 
Amen. Amen. Some of us ought to be in prison. Amen. Some of us ought to be in jail. Amen. Some of us ought to be dead. Some of us ought to have AIDS. Amen. Come on now. Amen. So it could have been a lot worse. Amen. Most of us, our older adults, have committed the sin of fornication. Amen. Some of us have committed the sin of adultery. Amen. We had a right to have AIDS. Somebody say amen. amen. But God said no. He repented. And God washed it. He said your sins and iniquities I'll remember. No more. No more. So the price was nothing like it would have been without Jesus dying and giving us grace. Amen. 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 I want to give you a few facts right quick. Israel, so you know that Write this down. 13 represents dealing with what's wrong. Flesh. Okay. 13 represents dealing with flesh. And of course the world took that and, and I can understand how they said 13 is, is bad. And tomorrow is Friday the 13th. Amen. And we're going to celebrate the birth of Jesus and have a good time. Amen. Amen. Superstition is not of God. Amen. So, and we are good in our culture for superstition. Don't walk on the crack. Don't split the pole. You know, all that dumb stuff. You know. Oh, you broke a mirror. You're going to have seven years back. Well, the devil is a liar. Amen. I'm blessed and highly favored. Amen. 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 14 represents going to a higher level by being delivered and released. Anybody get any connections from batting down the hatches? We need to get our minds straight. We need to get ready. Anybody getting the connections? Amen. Amen. Seriously, Amen. raise your hands again. If you're not getting it, tell me. Because if you're not getting it, okay, Latoya, Samantha, I mean not Samantha. You're not getting it. Y'all get oh y'all was right. Okay. Anybody not getting it? Right, David, you getting it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So if we look at 2013, a whole lot of stuff came to the surface. Amen. Amen. Would you agree? A whole lot of stuff came to the surface with people around us. Amen. 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 A lot of pimples came to the surface. Amen. You know, you used back in the day, you would take a face, you get a facial done before a prom and whatnot. Boy, we're really stupid. Um, because what a facial does is clean the top layer, but sucks all that stuff in the under layers of the skin and brings it to the surface. So if you get a facial a day or two before the prom, boy, are you going to look hurt. Because you're going to have zits and stuff, pimples. Young people look at me like, really? Yeah. When you do a facial, get ready, because you're going to have pimples. Okay? You're going to have zits from the under, the grease under the, the next. We have seven layers of skin, and it's a lot of filth down there, and, and the facial sucks it right on to the surface. I believe 13 was a facial from God. Amen. Amen. Thank you. And in 13, people did some things in this church and everywhere, talking to people. They were like, I can't believe I did that. Yeah. I can't believe I continued on with that. I, can, I just can't, what is going on with me? I can't really, oh my God. And if you be honest, the devil tried to beat your heart. Yes, yes, he even after you yes, he after, yes, even after you repented, you went to bed with him. Bishop uh -huh. said you had brunch with him, breakfast, yes. dinner yes. with him. And when you looked at Bishop yes. Pastor, you looked at the saints, yeah, they must know what I went because they looking at me funny and you know. It's just really but what it was was a time if you allowed it Amen. of bringing that stuff to the surface. For you to deal with, yes. to prepare you for 14. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. Double. Yes. God's going to complete some promises. Thank you. Thank you. God's going to do some amazing things. Thank some things you said, well, God, I screwed that up. You can never fix that for me. I just got to watch what he does. This is only for the saints. If you haven't dealt with you, I ain't talking about you dealing with nobody else. Because people come to church, learn the words, so they can go out and, and, and uh, show them. Amen. You know, I know all these scriptures, and I know this, and I know that. That's a waste of time. That's flesh. Amen. That's flesh. you got a 13 mindset. 
I'm trying to get you into 14. Amen. Okay? Amen. We need to look at you. Amen. We need to look at you. And the things that God shows you, don't go to depression. Don't go to beat up me, feeling guilty. God says there's no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus. Amen. Here's the key, though, the second part of that. They walk after the Spirit Amen. and not after the flesh. Thank you, Lord. Do you know there's people who like to be in condemnation? Oh, yes. Amen. They like it. They oh, yes. live for yes. What's the scripture for that? Scripture Let me find it. That's a good question. I'd like you for hand I know it's New Testament. I think it's Romans 8. But believe it or not, I can't remember. I think it's Romans 2, Bishop. There is now no condemnation to them who are in. Romans 8, 1. Thank you, Lord. My brain is still working sometimes. There is now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Amen. So get in your spirit and say that. If, if someone or your own self reminds you, you're not doing that anymore, because that's what true repentance is. I'm sorry I ain't doing it again. Amen. 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 That's Amen. true repentance. And you've repented, then you don't go there no more. Amen. You cannot drive forward into your blessings looking at the rear view mirror the whole time you're driving in D. Amen. You're either going to be in D or be in R, but you can't be in both at the same time. Amen. But that, you know, people that, that don't drive yet. You cannot be in drive and be in reverse. Amen. The car will not do it. Amen. You're either going backwards or forwards, or you're in neutral. You ain't going nowhere. Amen. And a lot of saints in 13 allow themselves to go to neutral. Yes. Amen. But God is saying, wake up yes. and get blessed. Amen. He wants to take you, take me, take us. We're going to get in oneness. Amen. Amen. This is good. I don't know if it's blessing y'all, but it's blessing me. Amen. 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 We reconcile. Don't go into 14 wrong. All right? Amen. I'm begging you. Israel was delivered from Egyptian bondage on the 14th day of the first month. Once again, bringing you out of bondage. Amen? Amen. And then we know the story that I'm going to Canaan. God brought forth Isaac 14 years after Ishmael. And I don't have to time to teach that. But Ishmael was the son of flesh. Mm -hmm. Abraham went, and I still say it was a bomb of a woman, man. Because if you think I'm going to tell Ellis to lay up with one of y'all because I can't have no more children, the devil in you is a liar. And the truth ain't in you. But Sarah literally told Abraham, and I'm sure he was grinning just like he's eating them. Because her handmaid was, was very, very young, probably very pretty. She was Egyptian, too. She was Muslim. And very pretty. That should have told him it was wrong right there. But anyhow, because Sarah couldn't, she was barren. She had no uterus and no eggs. She couldn't produce which was horrible for a woman back then, okay? Plus now, God has said, it's 25 years since God has said they're going to have a kid. Uh -huh. She's now about in her 70s. So she's saying, see, you got to watch this. Are you all listening to me? Uh -huh. you got to watch saying to yourself, looking at the natural, uh -huh. this ain't possible. Amen. Uh -huh. That was deep right there. Amen. You got to watch looking at how much money you have or don't have, what clothes you have or don't have, where you live. What, you cannot do that in 2014 Amen. and say, well, then I can't do that. Amen. The devil is a liar. <laughs> it's possible. Things are happening every But Sarah said it's not possible, and we would have said, I don't have a uterus, I don't have any eggs. I remember Sister Shelf referred to it at the church business meeting. They could not conceive. Mm -hmm. They tried for five years, and I don't need to go into detail, I'm sure that was fun, but they could not get pregnant. Mm -hmm. They came up, both of them, 
we want to get pregnant. Bishop and I laid hands on him. Within 30 days, she was pregnant, and Kevin is alive and well today. Amen. It's nothing impossible. With man, it's impossible. Amen. But with God, it is possible. And her doctor told her, I don't know how you got pregnant. And she told him, I don't know how I got pregnant. I know her, her. She was depleted of egg. There was no way even sperm got up there. Was nothing to hit. Well, God must have had some hit. Amen. Hello. Amen. So Sarah was barren. She looked at the natural, and they had a mosaic or Moses law that said if your wife is barren, you could go into her handmaiden, something like um, in virtual fertilization. Okay, that, you know, now they, they have sperm banks. And Mr. and I are talking about this. I don't know if that's wrong or right. I really don't. But he he had sex with her ham, and he literally hung over it. And I'm sure Abraham, who's now about 80, late 80s, he was having a ball. <laughs> you know, because he, he gets to lay out with this young chick. And his wife ain't even complaining. He ain't got to worry about nothing. Boy, look at the men. They they all look at like, you know, we never have a woman. And, and she gets pregnant, and she produces Ishmael. He is called in the Bible the son of flesh. Thirteen. So thirteen is man uh, manifesting his flesh or her flesh. When I say man, I'm talking about human. Okay? So... Ishmael's born, 14 more years passes. Abraham is 100, if I'm correct, and Sarah was in her 90s, and she gets pregnant. That's her. With her one and only child. Impossible. And God calls Isaac the son of promise. Amen. And he is born 14 years after Ishmael. Amen. 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 Thirteen represents flesh reveal. Six is the number of human. Thirteen is that doubled or multiplied flesh reveal. We just left thirteen and we saw a lot of flesh in our country, a lot of flesh in the natural. You might have seen it in your families. A lot of flesh revealed. Amen. That's thirteen. Fourteen represents God revealed. Amen. God revealed. 14 is God revealed. God is good and ready, getting you ready to reveal himself in your life. Amen. And you need to be excited about that. Amen. Now, if you still stuck in a 2013 mindset, then you stay there. See, I'm not in the mindset to convince people to do something. Amen. Do what you want to do. Don't go, I tell people, if you want to go to hell, don't go in the hoopty. Go all the way. Go on out there. Go all the way. My hope is, like Paul said of the pastor that was saying, while you going out there in your flesh suffering, that you'll go, what am I doing out here like the prodigal son? And get your butt straight. Amen? Amen. But, but while you're doing that, the rest of us go on the blessing, man. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen.